this will be the 1,000 mile update on my bike. Turn on just to show it. Yeah, 1068. Just charged the battery, so it's looking good. Got the light bar. Light's not on there, but it's starting to get dark on some of the rides. Um, yeah, overall impressions at 1,000 miles. I mean, bike is absolutely fantastic. Rides like a dream. Um, you know, couldn't be happier have, I mean, literally zero buyer's remorse. This is a rear hub motor, Pace 500 by Aventon. Uh, it's the top frame, not the step through, since I'm a 6'2", fairly tall guy. Um, works out really good. It's got kind of a comfort position on the handlebars, which I found to be really helpful. Uh, threw a little bell on just because I some of the paths around where I live are a little bit more busy, especially now that it's tourist season in Arizona. But otherwise, uh, yeah, absolutely love it. Feels really natural when I pedal. <clears throat> Pretty much live in two if I'm not in a hurry, or PAS three if I want to get somewhere. Nearly never leave seventh gear, which is kind of funny. Um, handles are super comfy. They're ergo. Sometimes I'll ride with pinky off of there. Um, Brakes are good. This one's getting a little loose. I'll have to get it just tuned up or looked at, but brakes work great. Disc brakes are really nice. The throttle, which I initially was hesitant to use and thought it was kind of cheating. I've actually kind of fallen in love with it, which has been a funny <laughs> circumstance. Um, the battery initially was a little tricky to get out and I, oh, it's all dusty. I went on the forum electric bike review and saw some people using dielectric grease and ever since it's come right out no issue man i gotta test that um yeah the single gear in the front man you can see it's really dusty i was riding somewhere the other day off road i can't remember where but kickstand's fantastic uh the rear hub's fantastic the shifter is great when you actually when i need it which i don't um yeah overall i mean it's heavy right so that's one thing that you know i grab it right here when I'm taking it, we live on the second floor. I guess if you don't live on the second floor, the weight's not an issue, but pretty heavy, but that'd be probably one of the drawbacks. Um, I think the biggest thing, if I was looking for another bike or a new bike, is just the, like the, the pedal sensor isn't super natural. Um, I don't know if that's because it's not a mid-drive or if it's because of the type of sensor. I don't know enough about these yet to know, but the pedaling is probably the thing that's the least natural if I had to pick like the one spot I would change on the bike, I would try and make that more natural. Because basically how it works is you set the the PAS level, let's say two, and then no matter how hard or slow you pedal, it basically is just going to go 14. And that's just the way the, the controller works. So that'd be the only thing I'd probably look at changing. But for, I mean, I was out the door at like 15 or 1600, fully assembled. I put in an these extra tube tires called Tannis Armor, which cost me like another hundred and change. You know, if I didn't live in the desert, I probably wouldn't put those in, but they're fantastic. Um, but yeah, overall, really pleased. No buyer's remorse. Think it's really just a fantastic value for the money, and uh, wouldn't hesitate to buy it again or recommend it to a you know friend or family member. Just a just a stunning bike. Keeps on going. So here's to another thousand.